Hey, this is Boyan from Mixanalog. You can see all of our gear back here. And uh, I'm coming to you from a cold evening in Ljubljana, Slovenia, which is quite a lot better for us in the office because of one special thing, because our baby is alive. Uh, this is the summing mixer we've been wanting to put out for a very long time. And today is the first day that all of the features are starting to work. This is the path the signal is taking. It's going through the inputs here, which are on D subs, over for all the circuitry. All the pan and the uh, volume for each of the 24 channels is adjusted, and then it's going through the output buses, one of which is com coming out for these XLRs, and I'll come back to those in a moment. And uh, the other two buses, they're over here. And this up here is a uh, a Neve, I think it's a 1290 uh, design with original transformers and this here is a API uh, summing bus design also with some original iron in it and Elvis, the analog designer and the guy who made all the automation and here is Matei who did all the firmware we're gonna run you through some really basic tests prove that it's actually working. So what we've got here is a sine wave generator. It's going into the first channel of uh, the summing mixer over here. And we've got the output of the C bus, or actually the A bus, here on the oscilloscope. So what we're going to do now is we're going to change the gain on the channel to one half of the nominal one. So this is full blast going out. And now we'll see if it changes. All right, so there you have it. The first functional test of the summing mixer is complete. Uh, the next stuff to do is to check all of the 24 channels, all of the buses, see if everything works fine, check the uh, performance. So we're going to check for the uh, leakage from one channel to the adjacent channel and uh, how much rejection we're getting on the buses. Until next time.